How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out the locations of all the Eon Vestige parts as well as the Eon Vestige core itself. So let's jump into it. There's going to be a total of six different parts as well as the core and three of them are going to be very easy and straightforward to obtain. For the first one, which is going to be part A, we're going to go to the Crypt of the Breath, which is the final missile in Ridge of the Frozen Souls area. Then from the boss room, we're going to backtrack just a little bit until where the NPC that restores Vestiges was standing just outside. In her place, we'll be able to find part A of the Eos Vestige. For part B, we're going to do almost exactly the same thing in the City of the Falling Flames. We're going to go to the back alley missile, which is the one in the boss room. And again, we're going to backtrack just a little bit until where the NPC was standing. And here we're going to find the second of the Vestige parts. There's one more of the Eos Vestiges we need to do the same thing for, and that is in the Crown of Sand. So we're going to head off to the Crypt of the Throat missile in the Crown of Sand and backtrack again one final time until where the NPC was standing, and this will be part C. Part D we can find in the Provisional Government Outskirts. From the first missile, which is the Provisional Government Outskirts entrance, we're going to continue forwards and go up the shortcut ladder. Once on the upper level, we'll continue sticking to left hand side and very shortly afterwards we'll come across another ladder. Climb up the ladder and we'll find part D down by the sandbags. EOS Vestige Part E can be found in the Provisional Government Center. Parting from the connecting bridge shortly afterwards, we'll come to the boss of this area which is going to be called the Attendant of Relics. Once we defeat this Attendant of Relics boss, we'll automatically be granted Part E of the EOS Vestige. Then for the sixth and final part, which is going to be part F, we're going to part from the connecting bridge again, still inside the provisional government center. Here we're going to take the pathway shown in the gameplay until we get to the room where we could choose to take the elevator down until the next area. And if we break the boxes on the right, it will reveal a secret doorway. Go through this doorway and continue until we get to the ladder. Instead of going down the ladder, check your left and next to this corpse will find the final part of the EOS Vestige. So that's all six parts, now all that we're missing is going to be the core itself of the EOS Vestige. For the EOS Vestige core, you most likely already have this if you've finished the Cathedral. Once we've defeated the successor of the Ribcage in the Cathedral, we want to return back to the home base and then simply talk to Io, which is the NPC that can restore your Vestiges, and she will give you the core. As usual, before we end the video, let's really quickly check out which gifts we can get by restoring these Vestige parts. For repairing EOS Vestige Part A, we can get Antibody Generation, which temporarily increases resistance to all debuffs. For Part B, we gain Elemental Wall, which temporarily increases resistance to all elements for you and your partner. Part C will give us Bridge to Glory, which temporarily boosts attack power. EOS Vestige Part D will give us Regenerator, which increases the amount of HP healed by regeneration for both you and your partner. Then for Part E, we get Panacea's Essence, cures you and your partner of all debuffs or blocks them if used before being afflicted. Then finally, for Part F, we're going to get Ablative Blood, which temporarily causes taken damage to be greatly reduced at the cost of Ica. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.